a project manager generally faces six project constraints. Scope, time, cost, quality, resources, and risk. The project manager has to answer the following questions relating to each constraint to accurately estimate how long the project will take. These are the scope, how much work is to be estimated, techniques, how to estimate the project, schedule, how much time it will require to complete the project, resources, who will be doing the project, cost, what is the budget required to deliver the project? Risks. Are there any intermediary dependencies that may delay or impact the project? When approximating task times, there are several estimation method options you can use to gather information. Task estimation methods include analogous estimating. This technique is the act of using former projects to estimate how long or how much a current project will take or cost. In other words, it's a technique that centers on comparison. Parametric model estimating. This technique uses a statistical relationship between historical data and other variables to calculate an estimate for activity parameters, such as cost, budget, and duration. For example, a new house building project is estimated by the number of square feet of new construction. Three points estimating. In this technique, three estimates are generated for a project activity using three different sets of assumptions. The first estimate is a best case estimate. The second estimate is a worst case estimate. The third estimate lies somewhere between the other two. These estimates are developed using one of the previous techniques, such as an analogous or parametric model. Expert judgment estimating. In this technique, an expert is engaged to create an estimate based upon their understanding of a project's duration and the resource effort required. Whether a project is large or highly complex, project estimates are created in this fashion. Vendor bid analysis. This technique engages the vendor or contract of work to estimate timelines. Vendor bid analysis assumes vendors can effectively estimate timelines as they calculate the work for multiple projects at regular intervals. The vendor will conduct an assessment on the assumptions in the project. An evaluation is then made by the project team on each vendor bid in order to determine the range of costs associated with task duration and resource effort. Reserve analysis. This technique is risk adverse and sets aside resource and time for the possibility of a project requiring more resources than initially planned. Reserve analysis considers the level of uncertainty and risk in a project and establishes a reserve pool of time and resources that can be drawn upon to offset any issues that arise that were not included in the estimated time. Bottom-up analysis. This technique breaks the work down into very small work packages. Bottom-up analysis works on the theory that the smaller the project activity, the easier it is to estimate. All of the estimates are then added up into subgroups and finally into the project's total time estimate.